Hello, in this uh, quick video I wanted to spend uh, a short time just showing you how you can add closed caption to any video that you've uploaded to YouTube. Uh, it's fairly simple and uh, with the help of YouTube it's actually a little bit easier than most people think. So I've got a screencast up here of a section of notes that I did for my students last year. Uh, this uh, particular section was on amendments 11 through 27. So if I want to uh, add closed captioning to this I'm going to click down below um, where the different buttons are for annotation and audio enhancement. Uh, I'm going to clip, clip on the uh, double C there for closed caption. And I'm going to see an option here where I can see the video. If I have an audio track, I could go ahead and click plus and I could upload a file, maybe a text file or a word file. Um, I can do different things as far as transcribing and syncing. Um, probably the easiest though is to go first with the automatic caption. So YouTube will listen to the audio that you have in your video and then do the best that they can to then transcribe it into text. So it's a little bit like uh, when you get a, a text message um, that comes from a voicemail, for example. Uh, sometimes it's close, sometimes it's not. Just depends a lot on how much you enunciate and how slowly you speak. So let's check real quick and just kind of see how close uh, the narration is for the closed caption on this video. Hello, welcome to our Unit 4 notes on amendments number 11 through 27. We spent some time recently talking about the first 10 amendments, which are collectively called the Bill of Rights. Now we're going to go through the uh, remaining amendments uh, that came after the Bill of Rights. And uh, we currently have a total of 27 amendments. So today we're going to talk about uh, basically phase two. All right, so it's doing a pretty good job. I have not done anything with this particular um, closed caption. So uh, that's just what I was picking up. I'm speaking relatively uh, slowly. I'm trying to enunciate. And it's doing a pretty good job. Now, at any point, you can go in and you can uh, click on. You can uh, change anything. You could add uh, punctuation, for example. If they have a word that uh, actually isn't the word that you said on the video, you could go ahead and change that. And then once you're done, you just go ahead and hit um, save a copy here. And it's going to update your corrected closed caption with what it automatically picked out. So if you do want to do this on a video, and uh, it is a really helpful tool, um, even if you don't have students that maybe are uh, in need of this uh, specifically, it does help um, so that students can kind of follow along. Um, as the father of two young girls, I know we use closed caption quite a bit um, just so they can kind of learn to read and, and follow along and stuff like that. So um, a real simple tool to make closed caption a part of the videos that you upload to YouTube.